चैप्टर वन कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेसन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज लर्न अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज नो द हिस्ट्री एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वॉम अप वी यूज डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेट कैन यू गेट द नेम्स I reach the inbox as soon as you send me. You have to post me in correct address. The system of communication in speech and writing. I talk between two or more people. Teachers note: apprise students that humans have the ability to communicate and share information. The simplest form of human to human interaction is possible only with the help of language that people understand. Now introduce to them that to communicate with a computer we need a language that the computer understands. Hello friends, we use language to express our views and feelings. Let us learn the language which the computer understands. You are in the kitchen and your mother instructs you to make pasta. You can easily understand the instruction because your mother is using a language you understand. Similarly, we need a language that a computer understands to communicate with a computer for every action a computer has to be given instructions carefully a user inputs instruction into a computer's memory using a language the computer can comprehend in other words a program consists of instructions written using a specific programming language instructions program software similar to how people communicate with one another using different languages we may also use different programming languages to write instructions for a computer program let us learn about programming a program is a set of instruction that tells the computer what to do the process of writing a set of instructions that tells the computer how to input process and output data is called programming To create a program we need to learn a programming language some popular programming language are listed below do you know C++ was actually referred to as the new C this is because C++ draw inspiration from C building upon its framework while adding new features and functions to the language history and development of programming languages The development of computer languages have been classified into the following categories: programming language, machine language, assembly language, high level language, fourth generation language, fifth generation language. Machine language, first generation language. A computer is an electronic device that can only understand electronic signals. This language is expressed in binary form. 0 and 1 where 0 means off this is to signify a stage where the current is not flowing in the electronic computer unit the other stage is 1 the on stage which signifies the current flowing within the computer circuit let me answer what do you mean by low level language this language has very high speed and very low memory utilization but understanding it is difficult and a bit time consuming it is highly dependent on the machine which is why it is also regarded as a low level language assembly language second generation symbols or mnemonic codes are used in this language in place of 0 and 1 for example if you want the computer to add two numbers the mnemonic used for performing this task would be add The assembly language programs have to be converted into machine language using translator programs known as assemblers since the computer can only understand machine language high level language third generation people created a language due to limitations placed on using machine and assembly language with the following features user friendly machine independent Almost all modern programming language follow the standard of high level languages. The syntax of high level language is similar to our English language, which is easier and simpler than assembly and machine languages. All modern computers need a translator to convert a high level code to machine language code. Translator programs are of two types: 
one interpreter this translator programs converts a programming code written in a high level language into a machine language an interpreter translates like line by line carries out the instruction and then repeats the procedure for the remaining instructions interpreter programs are preferred for beginners and are slow in execution speed remember it a specialized language called sql is used to update delete and extract information from database to compile a compiler is a translator program that converts programming code written in high level language into machine language a compiler scans the whole code and converts the code at once fourth generation language 4gl most fourth generation languages are based on structured query language this language is a combination of languages with the following features 1 high speed of execution 2 highly user friendly and designed to reduce the level of programming effort 3 in this language the user has to mention only the required output while the computer regulates the sequence of instruction that will fulfill those results fifth generation languages 5gl the fifth generation languages aim to provide an automated solution it will look for an algorithm to solve any given problem and then automatically carry out the algorithm to solve that problem generation first generation languages popular programming languages machine language second generation languages fortran cobol and algol third generation languages fortran pascal and the c family C++ C hashtag Objective C fourth generation language Perl Python Ruby SQL MATLAB fifth generation languages Mercury Prolog OP55 advantages of learning program one reasoning skills programming demands solving complex problem in programming we learn how to break down a large problem into smaller problem and how to solve each of these smaller difficulties this strategy aids in the growth of our reasoning skills to enhance its creativity making something new from scratch is what programming is about and this requires creativity let me answer what do you mean by creativity Three, develop analytical thinking. Analysis is the initial stage in problem solving, understanding complicated issues and producing simple solutions to them is the core goal of programming. This necessitates a thorough examination of the issues at hand. Kate Saiku, Sorab's great grandmother was a programming in the third generation of computer language. What kind of language did she use at that time? Let's recall the process of writing a set of instructions that tells the computer how to input, process and output data is called programming. Machine language is highly dependent on the machine. The syntax of high level languages is similar to our English language. Fourth generation languages are based on the structured query language. The fifth generation languages aim to provide an automated solution. upskill your intelligence a fill in the blanks one a program consists of instruction written using a specific dash language answer programming two a computer is an electronic device that can only understand dash answer electronic signal three machine language is highly dependent on the dash answer machine Four dash codes are used in the assembly languages. Answer: mnemonics. Five in binary language, zero means dash and one means dash. Answer: off stage and on stage. B match the following. One match first generation language with machine language. Two match second generation language with COBOL. 3 match third generation language with C++ 4 match fourth generation language with SQL 5 match fifth generation language with Prolog C 
Write T for true statements and F for false statement. 1. Machine language is expressed in binary form. Answer True. 2. Assembly language are not converted. Answer False. 3. High level languages are machine dependent. Answer False. 4. Interpreter programs are preferred for beginners. Answer True. 5. A compiler converts the code one by one. Answer False. D. Answer the following questions. 1. What do you mean by machine language? Answer. Machine language is expressed in binary form. This language has very high speed and very low memory utilization. But understanding it is difficult and a bit time consuming. It is highly dependent on the machine, which is why it is also regarded as a low level language. 2. State the difference between compiler and interpreter. Answer. Compiler. A compiler converts the programming code written in a high level language into machine language. Interpreter. An interpreter translates line by line, carries out the instruction and then repeats the procedure for the remaining instruction. 3. How are high level languages different from assembly languages? Answer. High level language. User friendly, machine independent. Assembly language. Symbols or mnemonic codes are used in this language in place of 0 and 1, machine dependent. 4. Write the features of the 4th generation language. Answer. The features of the 4th generation language are as follows. 1. High speed of execution. 2. Highly user friendly and designed to reduce the level of programming efforts. 3. In this language, the user has to maintain only the output required while the computer regulates the sequence of instruction that will achieve those results. 5. What are the advantages of learning a program? Answer. The advantages of learning a program are 1. It develops analytical thinking. 2. It enhances creativity. 3. Programming develops reasoning skills. Critical thinking. Rahul has been given a task. To complete this task, help him out to complete the table. Generation. First generation language. Second generation language. Third generation language. Fourth generation language. Fifth generation language. Popular programming languages. Machine language. Fortran, Kerbal. Fortran, Pascal and the C- family C++, Perl, Python, Ruby, SQL, MATLAB, Mercury, Prolog, OP55. A girl facing front end poking on computer and around her there are five colors and inside it is written C++, Python, HTML, Fortran, GS, Team, Work. Pair up with your friend and collect information about the programming language, which you can see in the above picture. Write some lines about each of them in the space given below. Machine language. This language is expressed in binary form 0 and 1, where 0 means off. This is to signify a stage where the current is not flowing in the electronic computer units. The other stage is 1, the on stage, which signifies the current flowing within the computer circuit. Fortran is a general purpose programming language that is especially suited to numeric computation and scientific computing. C++ is high level general purpose programming language created by Danish computer scientist Bejarne Strostrup as an extension of the C programming language or C with classes. Python is a high level general purpose programming language. Mercury is a pure logic program language intended for the creation of large fast reliable programs.